The production of textiles for apparel and footwear involves a large quantity of water and if not treated properly, presents a threat to people and the environment. Well-designed, properly functioning wastewater treatment plants, good process controls and effective chemical management are key to minimizing environmental impact. The ZAHC wastewater guidelines are an industry requirement requested by the majority of leading brands. ZAHC's wastewater guidelines define a single, unified expectation that goes beyond regulatory compliance, not only for conventional wastewater parameters, but it is the first guideline to define pass and fail criteria for hazardous chemicals. These guidelines build upon the ZAHC Manufacturing Restricted Substances list, a list of chemical substances banned from intentional use in facilities that process textile materials and trim parts for the textile and footwear industries. Testing in accordance to the ZAC wastewater guidelines validates whether or not MRSL chemistries are being used intentionally. Facilities should ensure wastewater is treated prior to discharge in a way that either removes the chemical physically, or by chemical reaction, or biological degradation. So how do we check this and what needs to be tested? There are two set of parameters covered in the guidelines. Firstly, the sum parameters and metals, which we refer to as conventional parameters. These conventional parameters are listed in Table 1 in the ZAC Wastewater Guidelines. Limit values are set into the following three levels. Foundational, at a minimum, meets legal discharge requirement and ensures effective control of input chemistry. Progressive, demonstrates increasing knowledge of chemical management and applies advanced wastewater treatment processes. Aspirational, demonstrates best-in-class performance and strives for continuous improvement in both chemicals and wastewater treatment process knowledge. This three-level approach allows for an incremental improvement. Secondly, the ZDHC MRSL parameters, which are referred to as priority hazardous chemicals. These parameters are the primary focus of ZDHC. Rather than set a three-level approach, a pass-file criteria has been set. Four leading global laboratories collaborated in the development of these reporting limits to ensure that robust test methods are used worldwide. To find out more about sampling points, sampling requirements and frequency of sampling, please refer to the wastewater guidelines. In order to align on testing and reporting, we have implemented a program to conduct testing two times per year, end of October and end of April. The report should be submitted by the ZAAC Accepted Labs to the wastewater module of the ZAAC Gateway. This online portal allows for reporting to be uploaded by ZAAC Accepted Labs, reducing duplication of testing, allowing transparency of results globally and target setting against the milestones outlined in the wastewater guidelines. Our goal is to minimize chemical pollutants discharged into the environment through good process controls and effective chemical management. Therefore, we encourage the adoption of these global guidelines by any organization, consortia and supplier interested in a more sustainable future.